This is a re-review of the Power Ranger Super Mega Force Silver Ranger Action Hero figure. Now, when I say re-review, I mean this review was done, but there were some things, if not everything I didn't like about it, I pretty much turned the original filming of this into a full-on half-an-hour rant video. I don't want to do that. That's not how this should be. I don't want to bring the show into the uh, review. I want to talk about the figure, not the show. If I wanted to talk about the show, I would make a rant video, but that's what happened. I got carried away, just like I'm doing right now with talking. But, point being, what was supposed to be a toy review turned into a video rant talking about Power Rangers Super Mega Force and how it really wasn't that super. As a matter of fact, the show could just drop dead because it's that horrible. They had some good things going, and then they had the story that was going with the Silver Ranger talking about how he came, uh, how he got his powers, what happened to his family, why he hates the uh, Space Armada, and why he wants to bring them down and join the Rangers, all that stuff was all done in like 10 minutes of one episode after the introduction of the Silver Ranger and they screwed it up after that. They never talked about it again until like maybe the last few episodes of the season. And that's just stupid. I mean, they had something going. This was like something that a lot of the mature people that actually watch Power Rangers was probably looking forward to, but they never mentioned anything about it ever again. But, I digress. I, I mean, I gotta go on. This show must go on. This review has got to go on. I don't want to turn this into another 30-minute rant video. So, I'm gonna try my best to hold my breath, relax, bite my tongue if I have to, and talk about the figure. Now, I've wasted 2 minutes and 15 seconds. Not gonna waste any more of your time. Let's talk about the figure. Now, let's talk about why I'm picking up this figure just now. Well... The reason being is because, like I said in my last few videos, I've gone back to buying Bandai of America figures in lieu of some brand new SH figure art figures, which they haven't even been announced. There are so many figures out there that have had prototypes that have never actually got a final release, unfortunately. That being a particular wave of a bunch of Bokinger figure arts, which really is killing me, but... Aw, oh, dude, the fuck is fuck, man? said this is the package here's your obligatory shot of you know the red ranger with his uh gokai saber whatever you call it in super mega force it's not really that famous anyway power ranger super mega force logo um you can see the mega super mega force logo right here is ingrained into the actual bubble art package that's cool there's the silver ranger an actual uh photo image of him Silver Ranger Action Hero right here. Power Ranger Super Mega Force again. Bandai's logo, ages 4 and up. Warning, choking hazard, and so on. On the back, it's the bio for the Silver Ranger, Orion. Y'all just pause it right there if you want to see it. A very nice photo of him holding his uh, trident staff in hand, which is cool. Uh, a little more information about him and his zord which was the q-rex megazord which you know that's pretty cool and then also was was available at the time i'm sure i could still find these somewhere but the question is do i really want to go out of my way just to purchase a bunch of red rangers and a few six rangers out there no i don't know i think i just want to stick to the core rangers which is just super mega force dial charge and whatever comes after that so, that's it for the package. Oh, by the way, yeah. It's not collector-friendly. It's not like the down charge packaging. Oh, well. It's not like I'm keeping those anyway. Bring back in the figure. Here he is. He's very cool looking. Um, his proportions are out of whack, but it's something I'm used to, unfortunately. Something I've got to deal a with. A little more in, because they just stick out like a sore thumb. You can see this, this isn't... This is strange. It, it really is. I know that it gives more movement to the arms. You can get them to move in some more like this. But 
Come on, don't you think like maybe half of this ball joint should actually be sticking on the inside of the shoulder? Ah, uh, 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 whatever. Molded gold plastic. Why is that? It's strange. Shiny, dull. Shiny, dull. You know, oh well, to the credit of the sculptor, it is very nicely sculpted. Both weapons, the blaster and the trident. Very nice. I'm not going to complain about that, even though there's like really no paint. I'm not even going to include this as paint, but oh well. Articulation is pretty much your basic points of articulation for each and every Power Ranger series. Pretty much a swivel head. It would have been ball jointed if this neck piece wasn't a part of the head, unfortunately. It all moves together, as you can see. Um, I guess it's got something to do with the collar piece. I guess that's the only way they could actually execute any movement to the head. It's just to have the neck and the head as one single piece. I can understand, so that's cool. Ball joint the shoulders, as you can see, in and out, up and down, full range of motion. Single jointed 90 degree elbow bend. Wrist rotation, very nice. No waist rotation, that's to be expected. Um... This is a bit hindered, but yes, he does have leg movement. As you can see, his legs go up, but because of the skirt, they can only go about so far. They can go in and out as well. Just hindered, unfortunately, but oh well. Single jointed knee bend, 90 degrees, and the foot swivels, or you know, the boot swivels. So there you go, there's your articulation on the figure. Um, let me just get his weapons out of hand real quickly so you can get a better close-up without whacking my camera. See all the nice sculpted paint apps and all that. Yeah, this figure, to my surprise, is actually completed painted. I mean, look at it. There's like nothing missing. Everything has been painted, which I am very surprised. This is a basic figure. Granted, it's a rare-to-find figure. When this figure was released, it was hard to find. It's easy to find now, at least for me. Still, I am very surprised he's fully painted. I was not expecting this one bit. Um, quality on him is pretty good. The plastic doesn't feel cheap. Um, it is tight in some areas, and in some areas it's a tad loose, but oh well, what are you going to do? He's really cool. I just wish that the shoulders were just sticking in a little bit more to the body because this just looks weird. It just really bugs me. Not the out of wacky proportions, but just the broad shoulders. They shouldn't be that far out. It's unfortunate, but I guess there's nothing you can really do about it. I don't even think I can modify this one bit. Let me just zoom in a little bit and put him to the side here so we can get some size comparisons going before we end this review. So, here's the Silver Ranger compared to the uh, Vivix character that I reviewed not that long ago. The Foot Soldiers for Power Rangers Dino Charge. There's that. Um, I dug into my closet because I knew I had one figure left of my past figures. So, here is Power Rangers Samurai or Super Samurai, I think, at the time. The Gold Ranger. So you can see that the scale is right where I wanted it to be. I wanted it back in five inches, which is nice. I'm sure everybody else wanted that. And, you know, Ben has like, wish granted. Here it is. So what used to be four inches, you know, great figures, bad scaling. It's gone back to five inches, and, and I, I love it. I just wish that uh, Megaforce could have been five inches as well, but oh well, what are you going to do? And last but not least, because we're talking about a Six Ranger here, let's bring in the original Six Ranger himself, the Green Ranger, also known as Tommy Oliver, also known as Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Automorphing Tommy. So there's that. Alright, here's my final thoughts on this figure. While I am on a bit of a negative side because of the proportions of these figures still going on today, I gotta say that on their defense that it is not really targeted for a mature audience. It's ages four and up, you know, children are buying these figures. Well, you know, the parents are buying them for the children. We have the legacy line. The mature audience is pointed towards that. So, you know, can't really complain. But overall, the figure is fantastic. 
It's just got to look past those broad shoulders, how they stick so far out from the actual body. It, it just, it really bugs me. And it just questions me on how in the world Bandai America can sell these to kids. But I guess we're all living in a dreamland somewhere. What we think is bad is actually good. And whatever we think is good actually could turn out to be bad. I mean, we're on the opposite side of the factor here. One side likes, one side hates. We're just going to have to group together and just agree to disagree. Or disagree to agree. If that even makes sense. But, you know, going back on the figure, clean paint adds fully painted, might I add, and fully articulated with a few accessories, actual signature weapons used in the show. Really tops this figure. This figure is great. It is a well buy. It is totally worth it if you can find this in stores. You know, Power Rangers Style Charge has been out for a while now. You're getting ready to move on to Power Rangers Dino Supercharge, so... You know, your chances of finding Super Mega Force items is very rare. I never thought I would find this figure again at Walgreens, but uh, I did. Um, I'm, of course, going to be going after the other core Ranger teams. I'll probably get the six-pack that actually comes with Prince Vicar, if I said that name right. But, you know, that's really it. I've got no other Power Ranger figures to review, so I guess I'm just going to have to toss them aside for the time being and go back to Transformers Combiner Wars. But wait a minute. That's right. I just remembered there are a few things that I have not reviewed just yet. So I guess you could say the power is still on. So shove aside Optimus Prime because the reviews must go on. That's right. We're going over time with two beauties that I have yet to review just yet for the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie line. So stick around for that because it should be coming up very shortly. In the meantime, until you see me again, this is Red X Power signing out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again with more Power Ranger goodness very soon. In lieu of that, there's something that really caught my eye. Looking on the back of the figure, you can see he's fully painted. Outside of the green triangles that you're seeing going down the whole entire body of this figure, those are supposed to be green, but... They're not painted.